What up, guys? I'm back. Um, I do apologize. I had some serious stuff going on like, right at that moment. I didn't know what was going on, so I had to hop off. But um, hey, see, I'm here in the kitchen just waiting for the dog to get back in. Or to get back up here on the porch, I should say. But uh, back to what I was saying earlier, um, there's a huge reason. Oh, hold on. He's back up on the porch. So give me just a minute, guys. I'll be right with you. Just let me let the dog in. If you can't see him sitting right there, that's him. That's my dog, Bandit. So give me just a minute to let him back in, and I will be right with you guys. So one minute. Hey, bud. So, yeah, I said to let the dog back in. But, um, let me go back out into the living room here. And I will answer your guys' questions from earlier. About why I don't have a job doing what I like. Come on. Sorry about that, guys. My dog's weird. He likes to wait at the door and then wait for me to chase him through the living room so he can just run to do that. He's weird like that. I don't know what the fuck that dog's issue is. He just, he loves, he loves me chasing him for some stupid reason. Don't know why, but, eh, it is what it is. He's strange. He's a good boy, though. But uh, back to what I was saying. Um, the reason why I don't have a job doing, you know, stuff like, you know, web design, um, you know, character design, um, car concept art, that kind of thing, is because of the fact that no company will hire me due to my lack of not going to college. And here's the thing. Like, here's my issue with it. Half those people that are in college don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're just coming out of college. And yeah, you have somebody like me who learned on their own for years and years on all this different stuff and can run circles around these guys. And yet, I'm not the one with the job. Well, you're going to sit there and choose. And this new guy... Who has no experience, who doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, who doesn't know how to make a simple audio track play on a home screen, yet you're going to not give me a job, who, the person who knows how to do all this, like, really? Granted, I might not have, like, the experience that you're looking for, like, that kind of experience. But it's like I'm always being told, how are you supposed to gain experience if, you know, you don't, you aren't given a chance? And that also has to do with another thing, too, which is, it pertains to my music, which is doing live performances. The only reason why I have never performed live yet out of all the years that I've done music, is largely due to the fact that no company is willing to, you know, have me play at their venues. And the reason for that, all these record labels that want to talk shit about me saying that I'm no good, that I'm this, that I'm that. When all that is just straight up bullshit nonsense. I mean, would I like to play, you know, live shows and get paid for what I do? Hell yeah, I would. I really would. I, I would kill to play live shows. But at this point, I can't do that because no venue wants to have me due to record companies talking shit about me. And it's really getting old. Like, it's really making it hard for me to make a living off of what I do. Like, in all the years that I've done music, I've never once been paid. Ever. Like, I have not made any money off of any of my music, any of my artwork, 
any of my web designs, nothing. And the reason why is because I'm either getting screwed over by people or I got people stealing my shit and I have to go and steal it back from them and do all this, you know, unneeded necessary bullshit. Or they're just like, fuck you, you don't have money, we don't want to work with you. Because I hit up a bunch of venues last night after I got done working with my buddy Eric on some new stuff that we're going to be running soon. And, you know, I sent them, you know, quite a few demos. Like, I sent them, you know, demos of some of my different stuff. You know, like, I sent one label a demo of my song please notice me which i know a lot of you guys enjoyed that song so that was like what ultimately one of the ones that you know like threw out as a demo i was like you know here's this and then i also threw out um i forget what one it was it was one of my dubstep ones i forget which one it was i threw out and then i put out the remastered version of from start to finish because if you guys don't know i did remaster that i re-released it it sounds a hundred times better than what the original did granted the original was pretty damn good but it had that facebook ding because while i was recording the original track it caught the facebook ding for my notifications i was like ah shit and i was never really able to go in and redo it due to my computer crashing and me having a Kindle Fire from, I'd say about October, November of last year up till now, up till Christmas. But, um, you know, like that's the main reason why no companies want me is because of the fact that all these labels want to talk shit that's not true just because of my physical appearance because they don't like how i look so they ultimately they ultimately feel like oh only good looking people in this venue motherfucker you got a dude up there that don't look half as bad as i do like i don't look half as bad as that dude does and yet he's playing so why the fuck can't i play why am i singled out and anyways I sent the demos to these companies and they just, every single one of them turned them down. Because I guess they found me on Google, they Googled me up, and I guess there's been a lot of shit talking behind my back and me not knowing about it. And honestly, that really fucks with me, not just on the level of an artist, but on the level of somebody who's trying to make an honest living doing what he loves to do and what he's good at doing. Like, you guys have heard the song, please notice me. You guys really enjoyed that one. I actually had fun recording that one. Like, that was actually a step outside of my comfort zone on that. That was a very huge step for me to do, and ultimately it turned out to be a really good move. Because you guys really enjoyed that song. And I enjoyed, you know, making that song for you guys. But, you know, as I said, my issue is the fact that, you know, these guys want to sit here and talk shit. And just basically just bash and just not let anybody get anywhere. Like, Here's my issue with it. And a lot of companies hate me because of this issue. Dude, I have checked those out. They actually streamed them on more than just Netflix. A buddy of mine hooked me up with a site where I was able to watch them, dude. Those are fucking good-ass shows. Crybaby was a good movie. Um... Baby Driver was good, too. I did enjoy Baby Driver. That one was actually bomb as fuck. And I highly suggest, if you have not checked out either of these movies, and you guys are into movies like Fast and the Furious, while we're on that subject, movies Born to Race 1 and 2, they're both really good. I highly suggest them. Like, 
if you're into cars and racing, you know, just as much as I am, you guys will love those movies. They're really good. Now, I actually just watched the second installment that I didn't know there was just the other night. It's a good movie. You know, both are really good. So I highly suggest, you know, you guys checking those out. And there is another um, series. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Straight up. And also, speaking of animes, if you guys are into anime and you guys don't mind you know, English subtitles with the original Japanese dub and you are into racing, I highly suggest checking out the anime series Wengen, Wengen at Midnight. It's one that I'm currently watching. I'm on episode, I think like eight or nine right now. It's really good. Like I found it by random, but it's really good. I highly suggest it. Um, it's it's kind of it's kind of along the lines. It's one of those things that keeps you guessing. Like it's a it's a um, street racing one, but it's one of the ones that keeps you guessing. Like what's gonna happen next? Like. Because basically this dude, I'll just give you guys a rundown of it. Basically this girl and her brother buy this old Japanese um, Z. It's like an older car. It's a Z33, but it's named the Devil Z. But the reason behind that is because her brother was driving that car when he died. And this guy who just happened to be on the street and just see go by fell in love with that car and it turns out many years later after like two years later after the accident he actually found that car that same exact car that exact car that was in the crash in his local junkyard uh, he bought it cleaned it up and along the way he kind of like wrecks it here and there like, he really bangs it up almost every time just trying to get used to the power of it. And, you know, he constantly brings it back. But, like, it's a good series overall. Like, like I said, I'm on episode episode 8 or 9 right now. I think I'm almost done with 8. But if you guys are into anime, definitely check out Wingen at Midnight. It's a great anime series. You can find it on YouTube very easily. You have the entire series. But back to what I was saying. But, uh, you know, basically, like, I'm not able to, you know, perform live shows around here because of the negative bullshit that these companies are putting out. They're basically telling me, oh, you're not good enough for this venue or you don't have this much money or that money. Like, it takes this, this, and this, and this to do it. Well, here's the one thing that I I stick by that every company fucking just hates me for. And there's a huge reason as to why no company will sign me. Here's my theory about music, about music companies and how they should be ranked. If you have an artist that's really good, like say young, like let's say I'm a record company, like let's say I'm a major record label and I'm looking for a new talent, and Young Fox or Bradley or Eric, whoever, sends me a demo, I listen to it, and they want to sign with me. They want to sign with my company. All right, you know that's great. Like, you know, I'll take a listen to it. I'll get in contact with them. Like, hey, you know, I heard your demo. I want you to be part of my record company. Like, I want you on the label as a paid artist. And what I would do personally is I would sign them free of charge. They would not have to pay a thing to sign. They would not have to, you know, pay any fees or anything like that. But what I would do is... Every month, out of their check, out of sales, like whatever they make in sales, like for albums and whatnot, I would take 30% of that. 
out of their check and use that to fuel the company. I would put that 30% of, you know, that money towards like distribution, show bookings, travel fees, you know, all that stuff. And then they would get the rest to do with what they wish. Like, you know, house mortgages, car, car payments, you know, that type of stuff, you know, bills, that type of thing. Like, I wouldn't charge an artist to be signed to a label. You make the money, you keep what you make. But I get, like, 30% of it to put out towards distribution, you know, legal fees, copyright fees, all that shit. And that's the way that it should be ran. Like, no artist should have to pay for, to be signed to a label. No artist should have to be like, oh, you do... You pay this much, we'll do this. And that's actually a huge reason as to why I didn't sign with Dorrance Publishing for my poetry or my work at all or any of my writing because they wanted like $1,000 in payment fees. And I ran the idea by the guy. Like, he was a cool guy. Like, he was really cool. He was down to earth. He actually knew a lot about what I was talking about, where I was coming from in general. But I told him, I was like, well, what if you brought me on for free and then I sit down and I give you, say, 10, 30% of the 100000 that I make each month in sales? He was like, oh, if we did that, our company would go out of business. Actually, you would be wrong, dude. And if you are watching this, um, whatever your name is, like, I'm sorry, I, your name slips my mind. At this point, it's been a while since we spoke. But if you are watching this, if you really think about it, you would not be losing business. But in fact, you would be gaining more business. Your sales would increase because you're bringing on an an author that knows what they're doing, that is willing to be fair. You know, 30% of something is better than 100% of nothing. Like, if you were to bring on an artist or a author, publish them for free, put their stuff out there, let their stuff generate a buzz, let their stuff generate, and bring in that money, you'd be making double back what that artist even pays you or what that author, whoever you're working for, pays you. Like, publishing and signing is supposed to be free, yet you have companies charging you at the ass for it. And I honestly feel like that's unfair. It's unfair to, you know, honest, you know, authors and music artists like myself. It's unfair to any business that you guys make somebody pay you just to sign them or to publish them. Like, what happened to the days when... You know, you didn't have to pay for publishing. You didn't have to pay for, you know, all the stuff that you're having to pay for now. Like, you guys are literally ripping off a lot of artists and authors, and some of which I know personally. Like, I know the major art, the major author of the Deep River High books, Shana Klimberg. She's a really good friend of mine. Every time she releases a new book, I'm always right there reading it. I've read every single one of them so far. Huge fan of the series. If you haven't done so yet, go on Amazon or wherever you can check them out. You can definitely check them out and read them. They're really good. I especially enjoy the Deep River High series. Like, you know, I've read them for many years now and they're still going strong. So shout out to Shana Klinberg. Love your books, kiddo. Keep putting them out there, man. I love the Deep River High books. Um, Like I said, if you guys do want digital copies, you know, just go on Amazon, look up Deep River High, look up Shana Klinberg. That's S-H-A-I-N-A, I I believe. I'd have to look. But just look up Deep River High, and it'll be in there. Like, she's got several good books. Like, not going to lie, like, she's really good. And as you guys know, I did write a couple books, release a few books. But 
the reason why those didn't go viral like they should have was due to thieves. Like, they basically stole my work, got the copyrights for it, and my ass got ran. My ass got freaking rang for it, which got my account on Lulu.com deleted, which sucked. Um, as you guys seen, I released a book many, like a few years ago called Soul Senses, which got taken down off the market on there due to the thieves. Which sucks, because it was a really good book. Like, everybody that ordered a book loved it. They were like, when's there going to be another one? When's it coming out? Haven't been able to do it since because of that. Which sucks, because I really wanted to do a sequel to that book. But I can't now due to the author or the thief having the rights to that book. And them getting the credit for it. So it's like, why bother doing that when they're just going to take it? Like, why bother? But, you know, I feel like a lot of companies are screwing over a lot of people. And it needs to change. Like, there's a lot of very good authors, artists, bands out there that deserve to be heard. But you guys with these big companies make it hard for that to happen. Like, you know, you guys make it really hard for somebody like myself who's very good at what we do to make an honest living. I mean, I'd love to make an honest living off of writing and doing music. I really would. But it's very hard for me to do that due to these companies always wanting money. I don't have any money. And unless somebody stuff. You know, really stop them and say, hey, I want to give you a chance. I want to sign you. I want to pay you for what you do. You know, whether it be music, writing, whatever. You know, I'm going nowhere. So that's a very big reason as to why I'm not. And also the main reason as to why I'm not getting anywhere. But I hope that answered your guys' questions, guys. With that being said, I need to hop off here. I got stuff to do. Um, I will be trying to self-publish a book sometime in the near future. Uh, there's no clear distinction on when. Or I may just release an art book full of my artwork. Um, I haven't really decided yet. But um, when I do decide, I will let you guys know. But like I say, guys, if you guys do know any record companies or publishers that will sign me for free and work with me, let me know. And I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.